What's going on everybody and welcome back to all of you joining for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video and definitely turn those bell notification icons on today we're going to be talking about body armor but before we get into the body armor those of you that were in the military or if you haven't been in the military or any career field like that there are generally three rules to a gunfight and those are going to go in this order which is making holes stopping holes and god forbid plugging holes so make stop plug msp if you think about it like that of course we don't ever want to be in a scenario like that but should you be in one you definitely want it to go down in your favor and in that order of operations well today we are going to go ahead and bring in something in the way of this plate carrier from hrt tactical which is a setup that i've been running for the past couple of months uh just pretty much every other time i go to the range something like that wearing it around the house a lot totally weighted down because that's how you're really going to fit it and kind of shake some things out make sure you don't have hot spots and then you're going to take it out to the range and actually run around and do things in it to make sure that you kind of shake it out really well and that nothing's going to be flying out and everything's where you want it now i've been also carrying this with me at work because there's just been crazy stuff going on out there i swear to god every time i hear about something else going on in 2020 i swear to god i'm going to hear hey this is johnny knoxville and welcome to 2020 it just kind of has that vibe to it uh, there's been a lot of things going on a lot of unrest a lot of craziness out there and it may or may not be the time for you to think about body armor um, or some type of plate carrier, some type of protection, should things get really bad. Following into the rules of three, when it comes to kit, there are generally three areas that I'm gonna take a look at. One is the material, like what is it actually made out of, two, the stitching, and three, the hardware. Now hardware kind of encompasses a couple of things. Those are gonna be zippers, uh, buttons, any kind of snap on there, and definitely the buckles that are used in there. Those are gonna be three huge failure paints, points, paints, I said paints. Three huge failure points. I'm gonna leave that in so you guys can laugh at me a little bit. So those failure points, now, if you don't know, buckles and zippers and all those things, they're designed to kind of give way at a certain load rating. So say you're doing a really cool guy operation and searching with a helicopter, and you get stuck on something. Well, a buckle like this one right here is actually meant to break at a certain load rating. Uh, cheaper stuff is just gonna break, whereas this stuff is going to break before it, I don't know, like hangs you from a helicopter because you got stuck on it. There are a buttload of options out there when it comes to gear, especially in the plate carrier world. Now I've got, I think three, no, I got four different setups actually right now. And all of them are really good setups and they're kind of moderately priced. And there are plate carriers out there that get like over 500, 600, 700. I've seen plate carriers that are like $800. Uh, me personally, I can't afford that stuff. I'm trying to find the best bang for the buck that I can. And this really fits that category because you're getting good quality gear at a good solid price with a ton of modularity that we're going to get into in a second. You may have heard of HRT Tactical before because a fellow second bat ranger, John Lovell over at the Warrior Poet Society, has actually had some input and kind of branded some of this gear of his own. Uh, so if that name means anything to you, that kind of goes to show you that it is, in fact, good quality stuff. Now, we're going to get into this thing. I'm going to show you some of the options that I have. Now, they did send the plate carrier and a few of these other options out to me to test out for the channel. And I do have a bunch of armor videos coming to kind of test out some different plate carriers. But I liked it enough that I actually ordered a few more of the back placard and front placard options uh, to really check it out because I believe in the product at this point. So we're gonna get into all the specs and all of the details on this stuff. And then definitely a couple things that I maybe think could be a little bit different or that may or may not work for somebody. So you wanna end up overbuying or underbuying or buying different gear than maybe you don't need. Well, let's go ahead and roll right into the up close on this. And then after we're done with that, showing you that stuff, I'm gonna kind of show you how to wear armor. Just sitting here right here. because It's actually fairly comfortable, even with that little hanger pouch on there. You don't have yourself the little hanging marsupial pouch like that in your plate carrier you're just not down with the times because that's been growing recently but we'll talk about how to wear these and how to fit these and what to look for if you're getting into your first armor setup now some of you out there may have been wearing armor for years and you know these things but bear with us everybody because some people are new and we should be welcoming people that are taking their rights seriously at this point well, let's go ahead and get into this plate carrier remember like share subscribe leave me a comment down below on what gear you are running but we're gonna get into the specs on this carrier right now. All right, everybody, we're gonna jump into this. I know it's sideways here. I'm gonna move around. I just wanted to give you guys a good up close look at this because this is testing the limits of my overhead rig for size. So let me go ahead and swap this around. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about one 
uh, the gear, those three things that I talked about. So as far as the material, 500 denier Cordura, good stuff, Teflon coated, the DuPont Teflon coating, mildew resistant, uh, stain resistant, abrasion resistant, good quality stuff right there. Now, stitching, so you'll see pretty much everywhere there's gonna be a stitch line right there. You're gonna see that double stitching, not only on the main carrier itself, but all of the additional placards, which is what this is, and the paneling everywhere. Now that double stitching is extremely important for the lifespan of your gear. As far as all of the buckles on here, not only for the cummerbund, everything else, those are gonna be those Duraflex buckles. Those things are really high quality, good stuff. They're gonna hold up for years of use. Okay, so as far as the zippers, you know, um, all of the, even the smaller ones, you know, like the zippers here on the Sporn pouch right here, you can see they've braided them up very nicely with that 554 pull tabs already on both sides. But on the back panel, okay, you will see right there, we've got those really big sized zippers. All of them are YKK. Now, if you don't know anything about YKK zippers, or maybe you're like a motorcycle rider or something, they are the best ones out there and they are the ones you look for because they hold up to serious abuse. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. Actually, we're just gonna go uh, strap down to the bottom, flop around and go to the front. So first of all, we'll check out those straps. We have a single sided buckle right here for quick in and out, donning, doffing if you're a military guy. Then you've got yourself a couple of straps for routing, hydration tubing, wiring, radio stuff, anything you wanna run up around there, you can do it with these. And this does adjust to size and it is sewn in. That's good stuff. That is gonna last. So as far as your adjustments go, that's gonna come from undoing your Velcro right here and then changing your strap length, either forward or backwards to give you more or less room. Nicely padded here. You can see there's a good amount of padding. It's gonna be nice and comfortable. Moving down from there, you're gonna see that you have a nice area for your patches, your swag, whatever you wanna put on there. You've got that hook and loop, that Velcro in there. Everything is molly across the front. And we'll move down into our first placard. So again, we have these quick tabs right here. Your uh, flex, flex tabs, we used to call them, or fast text, Duraflex, whatever you wanna call them. Those come in and off, which gives you the opportunity and ability to very quickly change out from say a triple mag pouch to an admin style pouch here, which will actually carry a couple AR mags in the back, pistol mags on the side, and then gives you nice additional admin space here for your swag, your pogey bait, your skull, and all that good stuff you wanna have out there. Eh, maybe a prolactic or two. So Molly is all behind this. You don't have to run these things. You can take these off if you so desire, but I leave them on because I wanna run the placards. As far as back behind here, what you'll see is everything is modular. I'll kind of turn this to the side for you. So all of these are Velcroed onto the plate carrier itself. This is for your cummerbund. You have this, which is John Level's Wear Poet Society pouch, which I run my radio in. This one on this side, I would typically run my extra tourniquet in. And then your hanger pouch or any admin pouch you wanna hang below goes in there like that. And then you just flop this down over it, set it in, load it up as you want. So you can see the modularity of this thing. It's pretty much where all of the plate carriers are going. They want modularity like this. Let's go ahead and attack the back side, and then we'll talk about the inner side of this as well. I'm gonna kind of offset these so there's a little bit more room. So on the back panel right here, you can see I have the large, like it's like a 24 hour pack. It's a really good size, unzips all the way around. I'll give you a good look in it. There we go. And it's got, you can just jam anything you want in there. Plenty of room for whatever you want. Again, those good YKK zippers. Uh, you do have the ability to strap things back, strap down, hang from the outside, whatever you want. Now they hang in here, not only by the zippers, okay, but they're Velcroed. And then it weaves through the molly, you can see right here, buttons in comes down and then you've finalized zip it in just like that. 
and you're all set to go with whatever back panel you want. Great design. As far as the top of the straps on the back side, you can see here we have additional pouches for routing your hydration tubes wherever you want from the back to the front. You got a carry handle here. This is not a drag handle. Um, we'll talk about more about that here in a couple of minutes, but that is a carry handle just to move your plate carrier around. As far as putting your plates in, pretty standard. You put your plate in, it's got the Velcro in there, throw your plate, put your strap around there. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more padding across here, um, but you know, very great many plate carriers are set up like this. Then you have an internal pouch right here for some padding. Go ahead and just flop this around and we'll talk about that padding right now. So there is padding in here already, which is a, actually a nice vent area as well. But you have the Velcro here, so you can actually put on more padding if you want. That may cause hot spots for you, so be careful with how much padding you add to this. Uh, like I said, the shoulder straps are padded as well. And let's go ahead and attack. This is actually the front panel. Again, you've got that area for adding straps in there, or excuse me, the padding in here. And then across here, you're going to have a further level of adjustment for your straps, so you can hang that buckle as far out or as far in as you want. And it is a single side quick release. This side is sewn in, again, with that nice double stitching in there. Very solid setup, very good design. They have done their homework on this. Flip it back around. And they have put the time in where it needs to be needed. Whether you wanna run the modular pouches or whether you wanna run straight molly, it is up to you. Now I do have, like I said, that other admin pouch there. I am waiting for the armored uh, cummerbund to come in. Um, so the cummerbund on this one, as you saw, is just the thin straps right here, which are actually quite nice, very versatile, very mobile. And then you have a Molly cummerbund side pouch. So if you need to put a lot of stuff around your waist area, maybe a blowout kit, med kits, whatever you want, extra mags, because you're you know, gonna jump into the crazy zone and get stuck out there. They do have all of those options. We will go over some more of that, but let's go ahead and talk about fitting and maybe a couple of things I would change, how I feel about this. Is it worth your money? And is it worth mine? Because I actually bought some more of this stuff. As you can see by that footage, this is a nice little setup. That stitching is good. The YKK zippers, uh, those Duraflex buckles, all of that good stuff is going to make this last for a very long time. Uh, depending on how hardcore you are using it. If you're low crawling through the desert out there, this might not last as long as some others. That uh, 500 Denier Cordura is good stuff. It's got that DuPont Teflon coating, that mildew resistant, scratch resistant, stain resistant, all that good stuff has gone into this. Now the modularity, you saw the cummerbunds up there, the different pouches I had, and they've got a ton more. And like I said, I like this enough and they pretty much said they would send me whatever I want for free, but I kind of feel bad taking stuff for free a lot of times. So I actually went ahead and bought a hydration pack, which I'll throw a picture up for you. Uh, there's several versions of things like this out there, but this one just really seems to be a great medium between almost like an admin pouch and a hydration panel. But I really do like that backpack because it just leaves everything wide open. Well, let's go ahead and jump into fitting of this carrier. Now there is a reason that I like cummerbunds with buckles on them and maybe a buckle up here on the top. So I wanna be able to very quickly grab this, even if I'm wearing a hat and swim into it and then just buckle up real quick. And I'm ready to rock and roll in a couple of seconds. So we're talking about setting up your gear. Sometimes I like to have two buckles on the shoulder straps. That is an option that's a preference issue. Some people like that, some people will not. I kinda of like it on some of them because you can just very quickly take it off, very quickly put it on but it does add a kind of a secondary failure point under that load rating for whatever that buckle is set up as. As it's set up right now, I can very quickly undo this buckle and this buckle and just kind of, you know, lean it off to the side for whatever I am doing and then quickly get it buckled back up when I need to rock and roll. All right, there we go. So as far as fitting this, you'll see, it may look a little bit small on me, I'm a bigger guy, but the fitting of it, You'll see it looks kind of high and some people don't understand this needs to sit at the notch of where your clavicles meet, your collarbones if you don't know what a clavicle is, okay? Should be centered across the chest and it should be fairly high. If you think about it this way, if you put your chin down like this, okay, I know that might be a little loud in the mic, your lips 
should almost be touching that plate carrier. That's how I always kind of measured it because one, you need that room to move around, but two, that's how high you want it, both front and back. You can see that plate might, nah, that might actually be a tiny bit low, um, but you definitely want it about this high and this even because this upper thoracic region is what we are looking to protect. You know, we want to be able to stop things coming at us here. I don't have side plates in this right now, but you know, if you're thinking about how the body works, where the heart is, the lungs, all the big things that are gonna put the switch off on you within a minute or so, especially if you're bleeding really bad, this is where they locally are. You can take uh, shots through the periphery and through here, and you can live a long time and get medical care unless you take one through and through here, and then it's gonna be a bad day and you're gonna take a knee for a long time. But generally speaking, this is where we want that protection because we're generally going to be facing whatever's coming at us. Now, as far as how you rig it up with all the molly and everything, you saw how I kind of have mine, and I'm really digging these little hanger pouches now. Take a good look at that thing flapping around <laughs> because it just adds so much, and it's actually extremely comfortable to sit with this. And uh, even with the belt on with all the mags and everything else and have that hanger pouch with the med kit or whatever you want in it and not have to try to find a place for that. Most of us for years ran them up here on molly panels or somewhere here. And you end up just walking around like you're carrying two pigs to the luau because you can't put your arms down. Now you may have to carry like that because you've got so much stuff everywhere else if you're carrying 34 magazines because you're in the army, but I'm not. You know, three mags or an avin pouch or something is going to do me fine. And just to give you all a really quick idea of how fast you can put these on and take them off, or for my military inclined people, donning and doffing. Who came up with doffing and what does that really mean? I swear it's a word, look it up. My military people will appreciate that. So having the buckles both on the side and up here on the shoulder strap are absolutely great because you can literally undo one, undo this one, gently put your plate carrier down, especially if you're running ceramic plates because you do not want to damage them. As far as having some quick tips, setting up your gear, start very minimally. Don't go buying all kinds of stuff and throwing it on there because you may find out over time it just doesn't work out or you don't need that much stuff. Start fairly slick and buy a piece at a time so you don't end up having a ton of gear on there that you find out you just don't need. As far as improvements for this panel, the one thing I would really like to see is a uh, beefier drag handle. So there is the drag handle here on the back. That is not going to be for dragging a person. That is going to be for transport of the carrier. Uh, just by looking at that, it would not survive dragging a human being by that. Um, I would like to see an actual drag handle because that is a very uh, serious uh, possibility uh, if you're wearing armor, depending on your situation. Now, you can't always grab the shoulder strap, but a drag handle just positions you optimally in the center line of a person to drag them. If you've ever had to drag somebody, trust me, it's a little bit easier from a handle than it is from a shoulder strap especially when you are turned the direction you are dragging and holding somebody like this. I really hope you enjoyed learning about the HRT rack plate carrier, ton of modularity in there. Feel free to look them up on HRT Tactical. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. I'm curious to know, what are you running or what are you not running? If you haven't got any kit at all, you might want to start looking into it because things are probably going to be selling out and sold out for quite some time. Again, huge thank you to HRT for sending this gear out. Really appreciate that opportunity. I will have some armor videos coming where I shoot a bunch of armor with a whole bunch of angry rounds from 556, 308 to AK stuff. So keep an eye out for that. For my subscribe stars, thank you very much. You guys are a huge help to the channel and you did get early access to the uh, specific video I made for you guys on this gear. If you're looking to help out the channel, you can check out any of those links. You can check out the subscribe star, get joined up over there for the exclusive content. I will see you guys on the next one.